Welcome back, everybody, to Absolute Power here on Casters and Castles. I'm tormented by gnomes. I'm your game master. Joined again after the break by Leg Day and very recently by Lemon Kiwi. Lemon, welcome. Uh, go Hi. ahead and introduce yourself for folks who don't know you. And uh, yeah, let us know what you're up to. Uh, hi everyone, I'm Lemon, or Jen. Uh, I play as Sadie Wilson, aka Flux, who is like kind of a cosmic psychic power-based person. Uh, she has a scythe that when she swings it does like a projectile psychic blast thing. And uh, that flies and has telekinesis stuff. Those are my main bells and whistles. Excellent. And then, of course, we've got Ninja Man Matt and Pods of War, who have broken into the Guderian Research Center on trying to track down an illegal embargoed shipment of Russian goods linked to the organization that created Buria and their cruel experiments. But instead, they've stumbled into the site of a battle between an unknown energy creature and the Five Shields, a corporate-backed group of superheroes who even now are duking it out on the other side of the structure. Matt. Does Buria know that Cold is here? or is supposed to be operating here? The, they're not here. This is only a clue. Uh, okay. Up, yeah. Okay, when we they're, were going I'm, over this in the briefing, Buria got mm -hmm. very quiet and was very like, he, they have been up and up with telling everyone that they are wanted by this crazy Russian, like scientist occult people and that they're on the lookout for them. And he's made it very clear that, uh, that he's on the run from them. Uh, and so far, it hasn't been too much of an issue, but he's very, very careful about anything that involves them. All right. As Sadie leaps, flies into the air up to the second level of the structure, the third level of the structure, and uh, Buria standing between the top and bottom levels, because he's enor they're enormous. Our, our heroes spring into the action on the other side of the building. So if you want to imagine there's... On this side of the building, the five shields are fighting something. And then you're on this side of the building, pushing your way through to get to the fight. But as you go through, you encountered a wall of purple fire, and there are shadowy things that with their limbs are too long inside the fire that just noticed you. And Burria is going to throw a vending machine at them. So this is where we go into initiative. Yeah! Woo! We're all I've put up a... Violence! Bye. Yay for violence! <laughs> but obviously, Lemon gets here, and it's immediately time for time to kill. So I put up a flowchart that's going to walk you through a little bit of how combat works, since this is an unfamiliar system. We are going to start with initiative. An initiative is resolved by rolling 2d6 plus your attack value from your character sheet. Your attack combat what? value. Oh, come on, bro. Am I now one off the rip? This counts as a <laughs> combat roll, right? Yes. In which oh. case, I have a major edge because of expertise. Oh, mm, yes, do we add work. the six from Matt's? You do bonus? add the six, yeah. Yes, oh. you would. So that's a 20. 20. And I haven't set it up yet to use the initiative tracker just because I'm still figuring out the best way to use roll 20 with this. So I'm just going to, you know, keep track because uh, you re roll every round. Okay, so mine plus is eight value? plus 12. Mine's 26. Yeah. Okay. 27. Wait, where'd you get the plus 12 and six? Holy cow. So I don't oh, know if you got the C, Jen, but I have a 12 oh. in everything. <laughs> Matt just spent all of his points to make make Buria as, as statted out as possible. I didn't intend for him to actually have mind and spirit as high as he does, but you know what? I had the points, so. <laughs> we're, so we're here now. It. All right. Uh, we pause. round up or down? Sorry, I forgot. Uh, always round down. Well, not always. There's some skills that specify rounding up, but for the most part, round down. For the most part, round down. Wait, why? Wait, what? What are we rounding up and down? My combat value. Oh, is it decimal? <clears throat> yeah. All right. And things in the flame get a 16, which means, in fact, Uria goes first. And the first thing you want to do is throw a. A, a freaking vending machine at them? Uh, well, so from what I can see, there's how many of these creatures? You see at least six of them. In at the least flame. six? Oh, fan-freaking-tastic. Mm -hmm. Boria spins uh, one of his, he has 
four actions because he has times three extra actions per turn. So <laughs> with the first of his four actions, he's going to transform into a blizzard. He's going to transform okay. into a localized blizzard. It can be as large as a building, 30 meter radius. He is going to, or sorry, 100 meter radius. He's going to go for... 100 meter radius? That's the highest it can go. He is not doing that. He Dude, is doing... Superheroes are built different. <laughs> he's becoming a blizzard that's uh, large enough to where he can encompass all of those creatures without harming his allies. So, okay. I don't know, maybe 10 meters? That's fine. Five <laughs> meters? like five meters because that's you know 15 feet radius so it's bigger than a fireball my my dude uh so buria's hulking 20 foot tall eight ton form uh begins shifting and moving uh mate there is like anybody who's like watching the scene just has all of their senses just go off as when he activates his blizzard uh he by the way uh is there any magical radiation around here <laughs> Okay, good to as know. As far as you can tell. I, that's fine. Um, so, it, uh, again, magical, spiritual, sight, hearing, all that stuff just goes off. And uh, mm. Boria turns into a localized blizzard. His form melts away and a cold wind blows through him and he explodes into particles. And hail begins raining down in this immediate vicinity as just this torrential blizzard begins rocking the area. Uh, Boria's hit points... Uh, times by six so right now he has 1080 hit points as a blizzard and anything that suffers an attack against him takes 108 points of uh cold damage holy crap is that how that works, <laughs> That's how that works. <laughs> damn and he's gonna try and put out the fire <laughs> this, this blizzard i did the math oh my god Sweet Ghibli Ghibli. <laughs> I mean, I should have known that you were building some nonsense, but I told you wowie. I was some nonsense. <laughs> wowie. Do you know how much that power cost me, by the way, after doing everything? How much did the power cost you? It cost me four points. What oh the hell? God. That's four? But I, I I bought a lot of other powers to help supplement it. It's only as powerful how many because ranks my... do you have in how many ranks do you have six. in this? Six. You maxed this out. I, I maxed so it you out. Turn, oh, yeah. You turn into a swarm of creatures with six times your health points. Yes. And I bumped so, up my I, I have normally 180 health, so I pumped my health up just for this mm -hmm. ability. I took every health thing I could. <laughs> oh my god. So a, a localized blizzard goes rushing into the building. Buria <laughs> <laughs> Yes! Freeze, you little munchkins! Become one with winter itself. Okay, so that was one point action. of team tactics. Uh, uh, so, uh, okay. oh, go ahead. Uh, as a point of team tactics, can we have the the Pronto and uh, Buria have discussed previously that the Blizzard Winds are supposed to go very thoroughly forward, as to not cause yes. turbulence for his bullets? Yes, absolutely, absolutely. Thank you. Uh, and so this is going to be an attack, so I roll 2d6. Oh, actually, I'm sorry. Uh, it's even better than that. Hold on a moment. <laughs> Your attack value as a swarm should be 10, because it becomes 4 plus uh, the ranks in the thing. Oh, okay. Oh, it doesn't yeah. use my regular attack value. Okay, that's fine. I'm fine. Correct. Right, so it'll be yeah, your 2D6. attack value changes to 10. So it'll be 2d6 plus 10. However, I also have potent 5. Uh, put on this, and so with that, everything about this ability is is juiced up to to high heaven. Plus five. <laughs> uh, no, no, it's it's much different than that. Let me head on down to potency real quick. Give me just a quick second. Here we go. Okay, uh, potency makes it to where with potency five, uh, I am able to reroll if I do poorly. So okay, let me go ahead and pull Roll. that up. Here we go. Uh, Similar to a sign. Okay, so I have a major edge on stat and skill rolls and circumstances involving this ability's use. And major edge is your 46. And then uh, I will re roll the dice once for each circumstance involved in that. I can re roll twice during this, uh, <laughs> during this thing while I'm using it. All right. I'm going to roll so. defense for the, uh, the creatures in the shadows. I got a 20 total for defense, I got a 32. But I take off. Uh, uh, that, that, that's seven. Really I take off five, so I have twenty-seven. Okay, you got a twenty-seven. Yes. Okay, and you deal uh, one hundred and eighty points. One hundred eight. One hundred eight. Not eighty. One hundred eight. <laughs> 
So everything in there, uh, office building, person, monster, whatever's in there, just as this literally laughing, howling uh, wind and sleet and storm just blows through. Uh, this horrible cackling, like K Klaus like Krampus just goes blowing through this building, uh, okay. attacking all the creatures within. All right, that was one of your actions. As you rush through, the creatures in the flame snuff out almost instantaneously. However, as they die, each of them, all six of them, explode in a burst of plasma Ooh, ow. that counter it. So they get a counter attack on their death throws. Ow. So. Each of them is going to roll against your your combat. Let's see. Doo, 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 doo. So I read in the swarm ability that your attack value becomes four plus six. But I want to see. It looks like your defense doesn't change. So whatever your defense value remains the same. That would be an 18. Oh, no. No defense roll is allowed. Oh yeah, that's right. They just yeah, if they hit, mm -hmm. they they do damage. That's right. But mm -hmm. you can only each each attack can only pop a certain number. Is, is it an, is it an AOE? Yes, it is. Then a, it's, there, it's six AOEs. Then it's going to be very effective against uh, Vodi. Okay. Each of them had forty hit points, and I'm going to rule that they deal forty hit points to you each. Okay. So, Does toughness apply explode. to this? Uh, not when you're in swarm form. You just take damage. <clears throat> okay. Uh, and how much damage is it going to be? Two hundred forty. Uh, do they have? They have to roll the hit though, like so. They should have to. No, there's least... no defense roll allowed. Oh really? With the with the alien yeah. ability? Oh, oh wow. Okay. No, with with a swarm ability. Oh. Ooh. So people can hit you for free when you're in swarm mode. Yeah, yeah. But you normally you can only kill. Yeah, normally you can only. Yeah, do if so you're many. using guns or swords or whatever, good luck. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, I do have uh, absorption, and it doesn't say that it goes away when I'm in my blizzard ability. So mm -hmm. unless you're telling yeah, me it does. So... Okay, cool. No, it so, doesn't. So I'll absorb the first 30 Actually, damage. Actually, hold, hold up. Oh, oh, hold go up. Ahead. Go ahead. Here's how I'm going to rule this. Because okay. if you if absorption worked when you had 1,000 hit points, you could become ungodly powerful. So what I'm going to say is that when you turn back into your Burria form, uh -huh. the absorption, and you calculate how many hit points you lost, then you immediately get the benefits of absorption. Okay. Okay, I see, I see, I see. Yeah, um, so it won't, it, won't, it, won't, it won't apply now. It'll apply later. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. uh, so... I absorbed the first 30 points off of each one of these explosions. So there was six of them. So I'll take 60 points mm -hmm. of damage now and I'll regain mm -hmm. a bunch later. Right. As all the kinds of crap starts going off. As soon as the absorption <clears throat> ability occurs, everyone can smell peppermint. The uh, <clears throat> ground around the blizzard begins vibrating as the explosions are occurring. Uh, the hail and sleet and stow begin glowing multicolored lights, almost like an aurora passing over a cold winter night uh and there's just multicolored flashes that occur as the explosions are muted and uh somewhat nullified uh consumed by the by the blizzard you can hear the battle still raging outside and uh before you go full thermonuclear winter on them i want to let legs show off what his character can do absolutely so the immediate hostels have been destroyed by the sheer force of winter but you can hear plasma bolts emanating outside along with uh, heat rays and other shouting. So, Pronto, what do you do? Uh, what targets are available? There are no targets in the immediate vicinity, but you can move through the building to see who's fighting on the other side. Do you All have right, extra I'm... actions? Uh, I do have extra actions, yes. Okay, one of your actions will be to move through the building looking extremely cool however you choose to do so. <laughs> yeah, Pr Pronto's doing a little bit of desk parkour, you know? He's used to the office scenario. He can get over mm -hmm. there pretty, pretty, pretty sprightly mm -hmm. as he uh, dashes over to see what's on the other side of what was previously a firewall and is now uh, a little bit chilly. Mm -hmm. Also, All he's right. got the wind at his back. So that's you've nice. got the wind at your back. So with the wind at your back, you rush forward, slide down a banister, emerging into a lobby that's been blown open and absolutely flooded by this blizzard that just swept in. Outside, you see a creature standing. Its body is blue, angular, and glowing incredibly brightly. Like, it's made of a solid substance, but whatever it is, it's glowing almost like 
like the heart of a nuclear reactor with that sort of blue glow emanating in all directions, but it's surrounded by this aura of, of almost gelatinous, sticky purple fire. Where it hit, there's a crater, a smoldering crater that's still glowing with trace radiation. And it's facing off against the American. Uh, I'm going to throw this art up so that you can see. But the American is flying above, eyes glowing and just raining down with heat rays. What do you want to do? Uh, I'm going to wait until the American sort of like flies off so that the guy's sort of like facing this way mm -hmm. towards Pronto from what I assume is like this busted open lobby. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Pronto is going to try and line up a shot with both hands with his, uh, with his symbiotic hand cannon and mm -hmm. attempt to target two enemies, one being the hand of this thing and then throw it into the head. So that gives me a minor obstacle okay. on my attack. So you're going to roll 3d6 and take the worst two as you make this attack roll. Actually, I'll roll 3d6 and take the best two because I have a major edge on every attack. <laughs> <laughs> okay, nice, nice. So go ahead just... and roll your attack. Your attack. 3d6. Uh, where is my... Uh, okay, 3d6. Plus of my combat, plus uh, six for the inspire, plus six. Uh, so plus twenty-four, because I have uh, ranged attack mastery with my handgun, and that would be what eleven. Take away two, that'd be thirty-five to try and hit two targets. Holy crap! Okay, and. <clears throat> This plasma shrouded creature rolls 2d6 plus 16 plus its plasma aura power, which adds an additional four for its defensive value. Four. It, can, it can actually roll defense twice for its hand and its head. Oh, okay. Do it again. Neither of those defend, and both of your shots echo and hit it some bursts of violet light go in all directions. You inflict damage equal to your attack value, your attack combat value, including any bonuses, times mm -hmm. your damage multiplier, whatever that might be. No, you the weapon attribute level. So what's the attribute level of weapon on this gun? Four. Four. Okay, four times your damage multiplier. What's your damage multiplier? Seven. Okay, 28 points of damage. What's your attack value? Uh, including the plus for handguns, is 18. Okay, so 27 plus, no, 28 plus 18 is 46. Times two. <laughs> yeah, times two. So you deal, what is it, that 92 points of damage? <clears throat> yeah, one this shot through the hands into the head. This creature has a toughness quality that reduces the damage by eight per hit. Oh, wow. So instead, you're going to deal 38 times two. Comes out, if my math is correct, to what? Uh, 76? I believe 76. so. Okay. So you deal 76 points of damage, and there's this chiming sound as bits and pieces of it spark and fall off. Do you have any actions remaining, Pronto? Uh, nope. One to attack, one to move. Can I take cover? Is that an act? I take it that's an action. Yeah, that would be an action. Okay. So I believe your turn is done. Let's yes, go sir. ahead and give... Uh, Matt, you have two actions remaining, right? Uh, technically three, but yeah. Uh, <laughs> you've taken two actions. Wait, you've taken... Oh, wait. You shifted and you attacked. Oh, okay. I, okay, they're separate. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yes, shift attack. Mm -hmm. uh, two left. I'm still a blizzard. Is there anything left to blizzard on? There's the creature. Oh, okay. Well, then, yeah. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and move in and, and blizzard on him. Okay. Roll an attack. And then next up is going to be Abby. So figure out what you're going to do. Can I... Uh, question. Am I mm -hmm. able to make an attack? And then instead of making another attack with my last action, can I try to have my blizzard just choke the creature and make it easier for my allies to attack it? Yeah, you can do that. I'm gonna let cool. you take your last action after yeah, uh, yeah. Sadie goes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Um, Give well, me that then, attack roll. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and then for this action, I'm just going to hold it then because I want to try to help Sadie and... and uh, okay, so you're you're going to try to like uh, choke Lock the creature? Yeah, that's, I'm, I'm going to have the blizzard move in. Instead of doing damage, I mm -hmm. want to try and like give it a big a, a big winter hug and just try and... like. Okay, roll it. an attack. Oh, okay. With the attack value that you used for the swarm last time. Uh, that would be minus six, so 26. 24. Just barely succeeded. You nice. swarm around this thing, choking with it. But as you do, as you come in contact with the flame, that fire reacts back and burns you in return. Okay. It's an area burn that's going to cause 30 points of damage. Okay, I absorb it. Which means you still, absorption doesn't block damage, right? Uh, the absorption. first, I'm pretty sure it does. Yeah, the first, so the, the, the toughness Absorption comes first. blocks conversion. Yes, mm -hmm. exactly. Absorption will absorb it. And then, uh, mm -hmm. now actually I will take it because I think I've already absorbed my maximum because I think you can only absorb double your hit points. So yeah, I take mm -hmm. 30. Because All right. I can't take more than what I already have. But now that it's being choked out, you're going to grant an automatic edge to anybody who attacks it. Nice. And does and its they are... flame start getting kind of diminutized since it's now covered in blizzard? Yeah, I'd say that if the next melee attack to hit it isn't going to get affected by that ability. Nice. All right. All right, Abby. It's your turn. Your allies are pushing forward, and, and you can sort of narrate this however you need to. So if you want to have been following along in order to capture all this on stream or for... Uh, recording, that's totally okay. What do you want to do on your turn? Sorry, I forgot that I... You called me Abby. <laughs> that's totally fine. New characters. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> Who? Who? I was trying to immediately get into character instead of saying pods like I normally would. I know. You know how much energy it's taking me to not say, okay, Athelor, you're up. <laughs> <laughs> It's bad. All right, Pods, what are you going to do? Your your allies are rushing forward to attack this crystalline plasma creature. Yeah, I would also like to rush forward. Um, and I would like to, like, like, just use my judgment to figure out what the heck this is. Yeah. Okay. How many actions? Do you have the extra actions ability? Uh, no. Okay. Is running an action? Yes, moving oh. from one part, one zone. We don't, in this game, you don't do like exact measurements, which is good because superheroes fly all over the place. It's more like there's zones of the combat area. And right now inside of the building is one zone and outside the building is a different zone. But I'm going to say that uh -huh. just using your moving and then just using your judgment, you can do both of those. That seems fair. Okay. So here's the situation. This plasma creature who spread its fire and there were like shadow monsters in its fire was fighting the five shields and losing, and it crashed here, and they are still pressing the attack. And there is a dead guard nearby. Um, Wait, yeah, I'd what? Like to... you, you forgot about the dead guard? We killed the guard? I don't think Julio was, was no, privy to No, we that. did not. Oh. The American did. Oh. Yeah, that seems like him. Oh boy, here I go killing again. <laughs> <laughs> Yuck. <laughs> um, well, I just love killing. I would like to judge the glowy thing, but I'm mm. probably going to go for the body leader. Okay. Uh, the creature is spindly, has angular features. Its elbows bend the wrong way. Its hands almost seem more like spikes than anything else. Its feet drill into the ground. It has a crystalline structure, but it's glowing such a bright, luminescent blue that it's hard to make out any distinguishing features. And I, you, you do notice that it's been hit and it's being choked out by the blizzard, which makes it a little bit harder to see. But it looks like this blue, almost crystalline creature surrounded by an aura of purple fire. And that purple fire disrupts electronics and makes metal. Ooh. This thing has this radiation coming off of it. Not magical radiation, thankfully. Thank you. That's just messing with the electromagnetic spectrum in the area. And the five shields seem to be fighting to kill. 
Does, or at least they're fighting hard. The American is fighting to kill. Does it look like he is going down soon? <laughs> uh, it's pretty injured. It's definitely pretty injured. Okay. And it's in bad. It's in bad straits. It's already been fighting the American, and it just got blizzard swarmed, and it just got shot up. Like it was kind of steady, doing okay. But the moment that you folks arrived and slammed into it, now it's on its on the back heel. Cool. I guess that's it for me. Talking, whether it's to your teammates or to chat, is a free action. <laughs> Um, I mean, I'll let them know that mm. it's going to die pretty soon. Oh, it's bloody. Any ideas okay. where to hit this thing? Is it bad, though? How do we know it's even fight bad than the five shields. True, true. Um, I anticipate they're going to be mad at us either way. And, and am, art of the American. Matt, if you can pull that for all of our viewing audience at home. He looks yes. like a young guy. Probably won't need to zoom. Hit the zoom Wait, he's kind of kind of cute. <laughs> bit, bit of a youthful individual. <laughs> I don't know why. Does that activate your uh, one of your one of your Am defects? Am I distracted by a hot yeah. man? Is he considered a hot Mate, can, man? <laughs> uh, can you repost that? Can you? I messed it up. Can you repost that, please? Brent. And I would Thank use you. the uh, magnifying glass in the top to zoom in to get an up, up close shot uh, of the American. Okay, I'm, I'm trying. <laughs> there we go. Thank you. Okay. All right, we did it, Reddit. Okay, so. It looks kind of familiar. I don't know if anyone here recognizes this chap. No clue. But he's got his corporate sponsors on there. Looks so like why point. you have one more turn, one more action, Burya, and then it's going to be Sadie's turn. Uh, am I, I mean, can I still be choking it out while I attack on it now that I've been started choking? Yeah. Yeah. You okay. can just like, cool. I think you said the next like melee against it was going to have a severe advantage, right? Because it's being choked out now. Mm hmm. Nice. So what do I roll? Uh, 46. Make what a normal attack or roll rolling? at 46 and take the best two. What if I was already rolling at 46? Uh, then I'm going to impose uh, additional damage. Nice. Okay. Got a 25. Ooh. 25 you say uh i got a 26 okay you just barely barely went out how much damage yeah. do you do uh that would be hold on a moment let me pull up my character sheet here uh it'd be 99 <laughs> damage <laughs> okay there is this... an enormous burst of purple plasma in all directions. This is 120 points of damage to you, sir. Ow. And because the American and Abby <clears throat> and Pronto are all in the same zone, this attack is going to hit all of them as well. So I need all three of you to roll defense rolls. Please. Wait a minute, it's being... Ooh. Like some, it's, we said it was being choked out by me. Doesn't that help at all? Keep it contained? No, this is a plasma, not against this plasma burst. Oh, <clears throat> oh damn it. Riches to the lobby. Mm. Uh, actually, mate. How do we roll? It up? does work. I'm going to go ahead and spend 50 energy points to say <laughs> that uh, as part of this, there, even though it's not magical radiation, it is a certain kind of weird radiation. The fire and the ice combining together uh, reacts in an inverse way, and as the energy explodes out, it then explodes in and then pops into the center uh, containing okay. it. So, for 50 energy points, you can basically tell me to <laughs> <laughs> I, I still I still get to adjudicate it, but for 50 energy points, you can get an if you'll allow it. That, I, that's what I'm doing. I'm doing an if you'll allow it. Yeah, and I'm going to allow that. Um, so, do I do I get to nullify my damage too, or do I still take damage? No, I'm gonna have you take the damage because that's okay. Cool. <laughs> okay, just wondering. All right, so you just like you contain it. You almost form the shell as yes. the blizzard coalesces into this ice, and the two forces. <laughs> and it surges out as if containing the pressure wave and then implodes back in. And when it does, the creature's blue glow remains, but the violet fire is completely gone. Which takes us to Sadie. 
Sadie, what would you like to do? Uh, I would like to attack something. All right. Now, your weapon has the range property, right? Right. That oh means God, you don't so need cool. to use an action to move into from the building zone to the outside zone. If you have extra actions, you can choose to do that. But because you have the range property, you can just make your attack from here if you'd like. I thought we couldn't see from where we were because I had to move and I have guns. Um, then I would rule that you're still in the building zone, but you adjusted your position to stay in that zone. So you would have yeah, been I'm just clear of the like. explosion. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Da, 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 da. So, here's what I think you're it's because Sadie's also attack. flying. That, that probably oh, yeah, actually, Sadie can fly. So it can just go straight up and then shoot down whatever you'd <laughs> like to do. Does your flight have any visual effects, or do you just fly? I like that just... The, you know, the vibes. <laughs> I'm floating! Oh, I'm just floating. some Magneto ass. Yeah, oh. exactly. Perfect. <laughs> All right, so here's how an attack works. You roll 2d6 and you add your combat value. Then if you have a special ability that increases your ranged attack, you add that too. Uh, and I have two attacks, if I may. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, you may. So I'm rolling like caca Okay, so you get an edge on this because he's holding him while oh, you punch. Oh, and then plus six because of the inspiring. Yeah. Oh my God. So 31 yeah. and you can reroll one of those two dice. I would love how... Just useful. do 1d6. Do a flat 1d6 and we'll do the math live. <laughs> Congratulations! Hey, you know what? There you go. It's still uh, huge. It's still absolutely ludicrous. And what does the edge thing do? That's what gives you the extra dice. Oh. Three roll, yeah. And my psychic goes through force fields and armor. Oh, it goes through armor? Yeah. Okay, wow. well, because of the Inspire effect that you got earlier, your blade, your Psychic Blade, as you swing your scythe and this arc of energy shoots out and cuts right through, what is the weapon rank of your attack? Six. Six, okay. And massive damage, and if that applies. So what's your damage modifier, your damage multiplier? Seven. Seven. Six times seven is 42. And what is your combat attack value with this weapon? Combat value is 11. Hey, where would that plus 12 come from earlier? Uh, ranged attack. That counts for this. What do I do? That means you deal a, a absolute <laughs> load of damage. Yes. <laughs> you deal 42 plus 11 plus 12 points of damage. So that's 53 plus 12 is 65 points of damage. Is this standard or are we punching out of our weight class right now? Well, there's a possibility I'm getting some of the rules wrong, but you guys are <laughs> extremely strong. Like, yeah. you're superheroes, you know? You're supers. Yes, we're supers. Oh, here's my second attack. Okay. That's much better. Oh. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, and then plus six. Because uh, yeah, okay, fine. So, as I've mentioned before, in this world, there's a very stark demarcation between heroes who, who kill and heroes who do not. Generally speaking, heroes like the Guard and most other heroes refuse to kill. They go by the Superman rule, the Spider-Man rule, maybe the Batman rule. But there <laughs> absolutely are heroes and anti-heroes who will cross that line in order to do what must be done. In this moment, as you inflict all this damage on this thing that's been, its hand and its head have been shot, it's been surrounded by this blizzard, zapped with eye rays, what kind of a Super are you? Oh. So what's like the accepted thing in the superhero? Like what are we all supposed to do? Are we supposed to kill or not? The Harrison Academy would definitely teach you to not kill. Um, but Pronto, one of your teammates, has already crossed that line before, I believe. Yeah. And Buria does not really care for such mere morality. Yeah, Buria doesn't seek to kill, but like, you know, if, if they die, they die. <laughs> You know. And then Abby, your social media manager, really wants to protect your brand. So yeah, just don't kill on right camera. So. <laughs> Plus, I would like to advise that um, it might be really good press if we catch the other people killing and not us. Yeah. Right. I imagine my projectile is probably just going to like dismember, like take an arm off or something, but not. 
Okay. I hope to kill, but if they bleed out, that's not my problem. Are you are you like a crab? You just reach over and grab the crab's arm and just take it with you. You're like, yeah, this <laughs> no. is mine now. Uh, trophy, 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 trophy. Or a, or a, or a, what are those called? The rainbow squids or the rainbow shrimps? Mantis no. shrimp. They just mantis shrimps. Mm -hmm. That's mine now. How is, how is damage calculated? So I rolled to hit. And then... You roll to hit, and the damage is flat. It's your weapon rank times your damage multiplier plus your combat value. Oh, okay. Minus any armor or absorption that they might have. So, the hand that was already weakened, you chop off the other arm and cut off this thing's foot. And it collapses to the ground, falls over, and its glow dims. It doesn't go out entirely, but it goes from like too, almost too bright to look at to incredibly low. And you can see this thing is made of almost a flexible mineral. It has two spots, two oval spots that you could call eyes, but no visible mouth as it falls to the ground. Gross. Mate, are we is able my... to benefit from healing boosts and stuff? Yeah, uh, for a healing boost, I'll give you back 20 health. I'll what are you going to say? For the time being, I'll figure out something else later. Pronto, yeah, yeah. what are you going to say? Is my visible, like, cosmic symbiote re uh, reacting at all to this thing? Yes. Does it seem painful? <laughs> or is it, like, gnashing, like, ready yeah. to eat? Yeah. Pronto is going to like look both ways and then see if any of the debris of this guy has fallen close to the lobby. Mm. Uh, roll 2d6 plus mind. Uh, I think that's plus 9. Oh, you mean plus 6. <laughs> I you mean, mean yeah, plus 15. <laughs> 18. All right. So the nearest chunk is right next to uh, Devil Dove, who has just landed <clears throat> and is no longer talking to the drone that was floating around with the, the ring light. The ring light is off and the drone has like sort of moved away. Mm. The nearest piece landed at Devil Dove's feet. <clears throat> In As... which case, there's no hold position for the moment. Okay. As the dust clears, let's see if I can find this Trying to get the description of the leader of the five shields. Okay, that's the best that I'm going to be able to do. You are approached by Breach Fist, who is the leader, the tactical leader of the five shields, aka Annabelle Silverman, who has been, who has cybernetic enhancements and wears a Burst Gauntlet, which inspires the name. Wearing a very similar uniform with those red, whites, and with the, the reds and blues and a little bit of white, with the same sponsor patches of the Five Shields Consortium. Walks up quickly, crossing the entire scene as Devil Dove sort of moves off to the back and the American slowly floats down to the ground over the thing that just got hit. Are you still in blizzard mode, Burria? Uh, I am, but if it becomes apparent that the battle is over, uh, and yeah, the battle's trying, over, yeah, then uh, Buria is going to exit blizzard mode, but look extremely mm -hmm. imposing. They're going to make their blizzard move over towards their allies, and it continually mm -hmm. starts shrinking and shrinking as Buria draws the the torrential forces back into themselves and return once more into the giant, abominable winter wampus as they okay. step uh, amongst their group. All right. And um, Abby, you're being careful to keep the Winter Wampus off screen, right? Yeah. What are you doing with your stream right now? What have you been capturing? How have you been? Um, whenever, whenever the Winter Wampus does something, I, you know, make it on face cam, to where I'm just sort of like narrating mm -hmm. um, what's happening. How do you how do you sell the whole battle? <laughs> 
how the like how what was your approach for the whole battle on the stream? Um, just basically like I don't know what's going on, but um, you know, there's a lot of chaos going on, and the, the five shields are here, and I heard that there was a dead guard. I mean, I am like gonna try and get footage of this dead guard as soon as chance I get. Live on stream? Yeah. Okay. Ooh. We're about to get demonetized. <laughs> <laughs> Depends on the platform. True. All right. Pronto, after you've shot your shots from the area and the five shields are moving in to secure the battlefield and, and uh, approach this creature that's glowing on the ground, what are you doing? Uh, Pronto stows his weapon away, this time in a, in a holster rather than mm -hmm. inside of himself. And, uh, looks to see, like, Buria is between himself and the, and the other team, right? Mm -hmm. And where's Sadie? Up in the air? Yes. Well, are, is that correct? Are you flying above the building and you just shot your scythe down, Lemon? Okay, yeah. cool. All right. And uh, in, which, in which case, Bronto kind of like leans in the doorway and has a look at what the uh, the other team are doing. Okay. Sadie, the battle is over with those two slices. You've brought this creature to its knees. You are still floating above as all this is going on. And down below, as he floats, as he his feet sit on the ground, the American looks up and sees you floating up in the sky becomes easily distracted. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how old is he? Mm, it's weird. Good question. I mean, he's a super, <laughs> so... Let's see if I can find out. He looks fairly young. Well, if he's ab above 35, then... I don't know. Hey, mate. I don't think he'll... Yes. <laughs> Sorry, this isn't story stuff. This is just realizing more busted stuff. You realize right now, my new hit point maximum is 360. So if I go back into my storm, I have 2,000 hit points of Blizzard, which does over 220 <laughs> points of damage. I'm going to have to take this. I'm going to have to go through this with a fine tooth comb because <laughs> this is so wild. This is absolutely berserk. It's going to be like one of those Avengers scenes where we have to find something for the Hulk to fight. You're like, that's <laughs> not, that's not really an enemy. Big monster. This is why it took you all night. <laughs> yes, I found absorption, and I, I went bananas. But I'm... okay, so you're flying up in the air. The American's looking up. He sees you. You're just still sort of floating there. What do you do? Uh, I'm gonna look up mm -hmm. at the Mr. Super. I mean, look I'm down because you're flying, and he's on the ground. Oh yeah, I'm looking down. Yeah. Maybe give a wave and then go and see Abby and say hello to the stream with her. Okay. Just I guess I just got here, so I feel like, hi, <laughs> chat. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe with Twitch Prime. <laughs> <laughs> and proceed to do cool side tricks to entertain chat. <laughs> nice. They're loving okay. it. <laughs> pog, pog, pog. <laughs> <laughs> All right. As this is happening, Breach Fist walks forward to Buria, very who's still enormous, right? Who's still incredibly enormous. Mm -hmm. And the minor wounds they sustained during the battle are quickly mm -hmm. knitting themselves back together. Okay. Uh, the five shields, you, they are joined by the rest of their party. A guy shows up with just this hulking mass of a guy wearing the same uniform, but just he's holding this huge, glowing green battle axe. Ooh. He's sort of dragging along the ground as he walks forward, looking at this huge monster and just twitching. As Breach Fist holds out the, the pulse gauntlet. No, oh, is this the speedster? No, <laughs> no, this is Swordbreaker. Sword Buster. No, no, no. Sorry. no the, the one going. Ah, da, 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 da. No. That is a uh, breach fist, who is a woman who's been enhanced with, oh. and then has gear as well. No yes. cybernetics, just like enhancement, super soldier style, and has gear. These breach are fist the, is the, 
This is the superhero team that's on the front of the splat book, right? The no, ones that are on the that's bridge. That's the guard. That's the guard. Those oh. are the the really really good guys. These are the five shields. Yeah. Different group. Yeah. People have not, called not on the, main the American book. Sentinel Light. Uh huh. Oh. Well, because on the the not the main book you gave us, but the little book, they have this group on a bridge. There's a bald guy with an axe. There's the the American with the laser Ooh. eyes. There's the speedster. Ooh, I have to pull that. Okay, I'm gonna have to pull that up. Yeah. There's the whole the whole that. group is there. Yeah. 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 Yeah, well, it's them. I'll get that art in a moment, but it's them. Yeah. So Breach Fist is just barely holding back the American who's distracted for a moment and Sword Buster. Trying to keep them from attacking this enormous creature. And all of you, as the two of you are on stream, Pronto, you notice the five shields sort of circling this thing, uncertain about what to do. Hey, there's uh, no need for that. We're all, we're all pals here. That was a that was a good collab, actually. I think we we made a good team. What do you mean? They did nothing. <laughs> we oh, killed yeah. the bad guys. It's okay. Play nice. I'm going to go we, eat more we, candy. Okay. <laughs> Boria stops off to go look for vending machines. <clears throat> boom, boom. Pronto kind of like rolls up to where Boria was. Okay. Don't mind him. Which outfit are you with? Who are you? Uh, we're from Arison Academy. We were just, you know, we, we saw people in trouble. Some people more than others, and we stepped in to help. Okay. Can I talk with all of you immediately in the lobby? I'll see if I can gather the stragglers. Okay. At that point, you also hear sirens and flashing lights begin to pull up around all sides of the building as emergency services begin to respond. Does it look like Abby's vision? Exactly like it. Am I close to any chunks right now that I'm talking to them? Hmm, you could certainly surreptitiously attempt to lean down and you absorb one. Yeah, G give it a go. I had a nickel for every character Leg Days played who has a supernatural association and gets power from weird rocks. I would have two <laughs> nickels, which isn't a lot, but it's weird that it's happened that twice. twice. <laughs> <laughs> nice. The, um, good, good shout on that art. Thank is you. the body on the way to the lobby? Yes, but the American is standing directly over it. As soon as Buria moves off, the American is standing directly over it, and their speedster, who I think is mind speed. Oh, this is perfect. Great shout finding that art. This is going to help a you. lot. And I'm presenting it now. Glorious. Whoa. Oh, so we've so, got some, uh, some shields as well. Mm -hmm. Here we have let's see the five shields. We have the American. He's actually the third American, so he's American three, technically speaking. Mind speed, I think that's it. Yeah, mind speed. Breach Fist, top left. Devil Dove, top right. And Sword Buster, bottom right. These are the folks who are on the scene right now. Is Devil Dove a bigger creator than me? Yes. <laughs> Damn. But, but it's are partially they, because... Are they growing as quickly as Abby normal is? <laughs> Look, I'm I'm not gonna lie, Abby. There's a 100% chance that they bought followers. Like, <laughs> this is this is not an organic streamer. This is somebody who was recruited by the Five Shields Consortium to join this superhero team and has a massive PR department, huge like creative agencies working around the clock. The same people who would normally do brand activations, except they're just focusing on her brand and her stream, getting her opportunities and. So she she has every possible advantage here. So but she's going to have... switch rivals. <laughs> yeah, she's going to switch rivals, 100%. But do they have boozy memes? Because we have memes. Do they have, like, you know, copy pastas and stuff? They they do, but the moderation is pretty severe. It's Ooh, all very okay. corporate. You okay, know? Gotcha. It's, it's hard to get that authentic touch to it. Yeah. Mm. All right. So Pronto is going to round up the rest of the group. Sadie, until you say otherwise, you're still floating up there making eyes at the American. Does he make eyes back? He sort of brushes his hair back. <laughs> and... 
gun. Brushes her hair. <laughs> 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 oh my gosh, wait. Hey, stop it. Sorry. I can, um... Not you, my cat. I have a sixth sense for interpersonal dynamics. <laughs> oh, really? Holy yes. crap! What is that? Can I see if he like likes her for sure? <laughs> <laughs> okay, roll 2d6 plus mind, plus how many ranks you have in that? Um, ranks. Okay. He gets only a two. Um, I want to see if I have the American stat block. I could have sworn I saw it. Two, oh, I think I know where to help you with that. Hold plus on. Eight plus two. Oh, All right, a 17. Oh, huh? <laughs> uh, did you add your plus okay. six? I did not. Damn it, that's good. <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta end this scene. I gotta end this scene and nerf that bonus. This is, it's, it's crazy. I spent All my right, points, gosh darn it. How, I know, I know. It, it's bad GMing to, to try to play to negate what your players want to do. Like if they build their character around a certain concept and you spend your whole time thwarting that concept, they're not gonna have fun. I would never have made Boria if you didn't want to connect him to General Winter. It's only like this because of, <laughs> because of in-game lore. This is perfect for in-game lore. There's definitely some attraction there. Oh. You've absolutely picked up attraction. Okay. Oh, Heretic is going to hate this. Wait, are you, you still don't look like Heretic still, do you? No. He, okay. he, he dropped the Heretic the second we started live streaming the collab. Mm -hmm. Get that guy off the stream. So, <clears throat> are he... Uh, Sort of steps aside as if he's making space on the ground. Floats down. Mm -hmm. Gracefully, of course. <laughs> Gracefully, naturally. That was good. Uh, tucks her scythe, I don't know, <laughs> bad behind her. And, Thanks. And walks, uh, or just... What is the team doing? Are we They're all moving into the lobby. Breach Fist is like escorting everybody un very, very quickly into the lobby. Yeah, Pronto snatched a rock uh, or one of his mineral things and uh, now is basically like clicking at Sadie. Like, <laughs> he knows what she's like around me. <laughs> <laughs> and she, she's got like the big smile and she's like, oh, uh, I gotta go uh, see you around and goes to the group. <laughs> mm. We'll see him in approximately two minutes. Don't worry. I used okay. that opportunity to point the camera at the body while he was distracted. Okay. Yeah. You point it over there for a moment, and then Swordbuster steps directly into frame, staring directly at you. Enormous bulk blo blocking it. I'm going. Where's the GoPro? We're going. Oh, he's so smart. <laughs> As the, you all make it into the lobby and Breach Fist says, are you live right now? Um, yeah, duh. <laughs> uh, I, I feel like I might have heard of you. What's your, what's your, where can, where can people find you? Um, Allie Live, Allie Normal. Okay, you, awesome. You've heard of me? You've heard, um, heard of my channel? Wasn't your name Abby? Yeah, Abby Live. Your stream just went Abby. offline. Abby. Did you just cut my stream? That's like super rude. I didn't even get to remind all the new followers to like, comment, and subscribe. I apologize. I'll make it up to you. Yeah, we're going to have to do like a TikTok later or something. Is the okay. GoPro still live? It didn't disable didn't, that. They, they don't know about that one, right? No. So what, what happened is your account got cut off by the host. Oh, snap. They bought the host. But we're off the grid, though. <laughs> we don't have we don't have the client. We have Yo, the dog. Whatever, whatever social media platforms you're on, Breach Fist pressed a few buttons, and those platforms like turned off your stream. And uh, you're not banned, but your stream keys are blocked. Pronto is going to texture Jimmy, leech the vod. What what the vod? Leech like uh, 
leech the VOD just being a verb as in like download Got the VOD. It. Got it. Twitch leecher. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, so the wait. whole thing is run. You always do local record. You always do local record. Yeah. So, so wait, uh, do, okay. do, do, do we want Gloria to make his way over there with the, uh, with the GoPro? Is he enormous or is he small right now? I mean, right now he's enormous, but he doesn't have to be. Remember, he could, if he, he, need, be if he small needs to he be small, be in there with the GoPro. Yeah, if he needs to be small, he can be small. Mm -hmm. It looks like a weird dog when he's small. <laughs> it looks like Danny DeVito pretending to be a weird dog when he's small. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so she. Yeah, reaches... as this is happening, uh, Buria mm -hmm. is going to have collected every single vending machine on the first two floors, piled them up into <laughs> Just one. Drags them yep, piles like up into throne. one area. And then uh, Reed DeVito's in the middle of the vending machines and then uses the rubble and uh, and broken building in order to uh, carefully pick their way over to the dead guard so they can, you know, capture that information. Breach Fist pulls out a tablet, swipes on it a couple of times, writes down, enters something in, and flips over and turns it to the lot of you. This is a non-disclosure agreement and transfer paperwork for $10,000 each. Oh. I mean... That's very generous. What are we not talking about? <laughs> Anything exactly. that transpired here. Um, and I understand some of it probably got caught live. Our department will look at everything that got out there and work with you to develop an appropriate narrative. Our dog doesn't have legal legal standing. How did that become Scottish? <laughs> <laughs> it's the, it's the like face a, changes. It's all the face changes. <laughs> it's because yeah, it's, it, he can't remember his own accent because he keeps shape shifting between all these personalities. <laughs> it's, 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 a, it's a quirk now. It's an absolute add, quirk add a defect. Now. Add a defect. <laughs> yeah. Add a unique defect. Yeah. Oh, there's no way that we can just sign um, right now. Like my manager will get very very upset at me. I feel like I need a lawyer to look over this. Yeah, we've already signed a bad contract first. I learned my lesson. I personally like money. <laughs> Wait, is breakfast cute? <laughs> uh, her picture is on. I'm gonna show it again. Here, hold on, hold on. Let me, yeah, she, let me, yeah, let me help she, you here. Hold on a second. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Break, breakfast pixels. is the top left. Break shift, breakfast is uh, breach fist. Breach fist is in the top left. Mind speed, bottom left, American middle, Devil Dove, top right, and uh, Sword Buster, bottom right. Does Mind Speed have a permanent case of constipation in face? No. <laughs> only only when using super speed or those shields. Nah, that's a big defect. <laughs> it's attached to a, a defect on every single power is, is blue face. Okay, I understand. We'll make it a 24 hour moratorium. With no further legal and with the legal obligation to meet with our team at our headquarters tomorrow that seems fair um also i do think that the rate's a little bit low um maybe we can bump that up the ten thousand dollars is how about we just make the ten thousand dollars for the 24 hours what that sounds more than acceptable 24 it means that I'm going to pay you ten thousand dollars to fuck off. <laughs> that's that's not what she said. That's what the DM says. It means <laughs> to, for ten thousand dollars you sign this twenty four hour moratorium, and we can negotiate further stipulations and a long term non disclosure agreement at our headquarters tomorrow, with whatever legal counsel you require. Oh. Hey mate. Mm hmm. Uh, I don't know exactly the layout of this building. Uh. If I need to drop some energy, I will. Uh, mm -hmm. But Buria is just like dogging it, just standing over the body, looking between camera, looking at body, looking up at this deal happening and catching it all on candid camera about them basically. The body is outside. You're all in the lobby, so the the body is fairly distant. You, then you can't I, just stand I would like over to say that I spend ten energy in order to slightly rewrite the scene to where uh, the body is a bit closer, close enough to where we can catch this. So, <laughs> uh, uh, You've got, I'm saying you have some footage of it. It's a few shots. It's not like just staring it in the face, but they are 
You remember those sirens that were flashing? Uh huh, uh huh. Those were not the police. Oh. Those were not emergency services. That was a private outfit. So basically, you're saying have... we got we got some pictures of dead body, and then it looks like there's a deal being made between this Shields team and our up and coming plucky helpers. And a cleanup crew is inbound right now. Oh, and, and then the, yeah, the I turn and catch some bodies going crew into action. a body bag almost immediately. Yeah, and my 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 weird dog self just kind of lingers nearby and <laughs> and goes off towards the uh, the dumpsters. Okay. <laughs> the. The, the cleanup crew is going to, like, try to herd you back, and they are heavily armed. And their gear does not look like the gear that the security guards had. They have some much higher tech stuff. So if the dog is going to bound off and try to, like, move around, they're going to try to... Or, and Breach Fist will say, can one of you... Oh, and the dog pull. goes behind a dumpster uh, or some other big thing, transforms back into Buri, and jumps, jumps 600 feet straight up in the air, just disappears. <laughs> Whoosh! Okay, there's a brief whoosh. Everybody freaks out for a moment. And Breach Fist is standing there with this $10,000 24-hour moratorium contract. That includes a legal obligation or its breach of contract to appear tomorrow at their headquarters. Five Shields Corporate Park. I like this idea. It's a weird dog. (laughs) The deal includes posting any footage, discussing on social media, electronic communication, verbal communication, any other form of disclosure of the events of tonight, the part, the participants, the outcome, any of that. It looks like this is a boilerplate, but a very well-written boilerplate. This is not the first time this contract has popped up. I think we can sign it. What do you guys okay. think? You wanna, it's fine, 24 hours? Yeah. I'm, I'm fairly comfortable. On cue, Buria lands amongst the vending machines, like some kind of <laughs> weird metallic like candy bed, and just starts shoveling like Chomping. old old seventeen year old vending machine snacks into his gullet. If it will buy many candies, yes, certainly we will sign. And it talks. Sorry, Buria. He talks. Oh, it's okay. It, they, he. It doesn't matter. Do you have a legal status? Citizenship? Uh, I would just sign on his behalf. Uh, I have pet insurance? Great. I am Perfect. dog. Yeah. That's what he I am dog. <laughs> uh, she, she taps a couple of buttons and some additional text appears that expands the contract to include uh, pets and associates. I have seen movie Airbud. I know that you can bend rules for sapient animals. This is not a problem. Oh, it's just a matter of the specifics. Not, I'm not trying to exclude or discriminate here. I would be the last person to do that. I just want to make sure that we accommodate whatever your particular status is and, and needs are. My status is Where furry and none of your business, and I will give you <laughs> none of mine. I will be quiet on the condition that I receive the funds to collect all of the riches I want, and the riches that I want are... 75% sugar. Noted. T- puts it in front of you again with the signature pad for your fingers, sort of insistently. Maria looks for the rest of them as long as they're doing it. Bori is doing it. <laughs> I really think we should get some credit, trouble. though, for like. What well, you know, we took out the cameras on the building. That would have been really bad if they had a recording of what you guys Happy just did. to discuss that. Absolutely okay. happy to discuss that. Cool. I can't include that right now, but tomorrow we can see what we can do. And mate, part of the reason why Buria was going around and collecting all the vending machines aside to eat all the candy is was there any mm-hmm. sort of we saw you saw that you said that they were like almost scorpions, these these weird multi bendy limbed things with like mm-hmm. stingers and fire were there burrows anywhere around here in this building was there anything that uh, that made it look like this was a lair other than the fact that they were just camping no. out in the building there's no trace of those things at all except for scorch marks in terms of trace of things as well is there anything in this building that would um indicate it was previously like in the last month uh part of a business transaction etc is there inventory lying around unmarked crates 
you'd need to do like a, a thorough search of the place. It looks pretty abandoned and being blasted by a blizzard and exploded by this plasma thing kind of messed it up. You'd need some time and the cleanup crew is moving to cordon the area, putting up tape on things. Stop, stop attacking, stop attacking Jen on the screen. Okay, stop booping <laughs> Jen's picture on the screen. Um, they look the gym. So, yeah, they're they're basically moving in and trying to take over and to usher you out as soon as you sign the paperwork, the digital paperwork. But there's no immediate signs of occupation of any kind. Oh, while I'm signing the NDA, I'm like walking over to Mr. Blondie and you know how you have to put like your address, your like phone number sometimes. <laughs> just sort of casually like <laughs> showing him just like writing down my number <laughs> and then just subtly <laughs> walking back to work. <laughs> just like leaning into frame. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Flipping that signature point. down. <laughs> And uh, a perfect payment method. Um, cash. Okay. Cash Makes a call again. on a radio uh, and somebody barely. rolls. <laughs> Delivery address. Or pickup location. It's flexible. <laughs> mm, I'll pick up tomorrow at the meeting. Over at Abby. Payment method? PayPal. <laughs> <laughs> Twitch bits. <laughs> she's very embarrassed that she still is like on the PayPal route. <laughs> you get in a few seconds later, you get an email, a notification on the app. An unusual. You received nine thousand dollars. <laughs> <laughs> actually, wow. actually. They did the math. Oh. Stop. They, they did the math. They paid for the fees? They paid for the fees. Oh. What kind of a corporation is this? <laughs> no comment. <laughs> All right. If they, if uh, Moria catches wind of how much they're willing to go through in order to do this, he starts dropping mad orders from candies from across the world. Like, it has to be <laughs> shifted express overnight to get here in time for this meeting. <laughs> He wants the Kiwi Kit Kats from Japan. Dude, he wants the Kiwi Kit Kats. He wants the, you know, those Fabergé eggs, but like they're real. You pour hot chocolate on them and they start melting into. Yeah, he's just. Buri is dropping all the bougie, all the bougie snacks that he's always seen in the in the movies and the papers and mm -hmm. and, and the Internet. And he's just dropping it like it's hot. OK, that's all being recorded for delivery. Reach for the size and says, okay, thank you. Please remember that this agreement is legally binding, and that any breach of this agreement will result in the Five Shields Consortium pursuing any and all uh, action at, in consequence. I look forward to seeing all of you. Uh, we can provide you with transportation, <laughs> credit card, or not credit card, <laughs> whoops, business cards for each of you. Contact this number to arrange transportation. Here's the address. You're going to ask for, uh, you're just going to say that you're here to speak about the internship program when you get up to the desk, they'll know what that means, and we'll make all the arrangements, all right? Oh my Sounds goodness. Good. Is that what that okay. means? Internship program means you're taking bribe. Oh, oh, this makes daytime television more interesting now. <laughs> okay, thank you. Um, have a great night. See you tomorrow. Bye. Yes, be thanking you very much. Have a lovely evening. You did amazing. We'll get out of your hair. She takes a deep breath, and as you turn around, you when she thinks that you're out of earshot, she does one of those hushed whisper yells. God damn it, Knudsen! At the American. <laughs> and an argument ensues. <laughs> You barely hear as you leave the facilities. You're now all outside. There are f vehicles, vans, trucks with flashing lights and no visible logos on them, just flashing lights. Uh, going back and forth, taking care of the cleanup. A few other vendors are arriving to grant the whole thing an air of legitimacy to make it look more normal and mundane. 
and it just leaves the four of you no longer live streaming outside and what would you like to do? Should I guess we, we just... Again? <laughs> <laughs> I think we've blocked our stream key. Yeah. Try it now. See if it still works. I mean, I mean, we can, but chat's going to ask things. Uh, Pronto's going to make sure we just continue walking until they're well away from the clear out zone. So does it make him also that he killed someone? He asks to uh, Flux. Hmm. Uh, we, yeah, the, the edgy boys are cute. Yeah. What? Should, wait, is that bad? I mean, Paris Academy would say it's bad. That... I gave him my number, I think. I don't know if he wrote it down. He definitely likes you. <gasps> I checked. You checked? Well, he at least thinks you're cute. Happy. <laughs> we're going to have to do more research. We, we got to continue that uh, Smasher Pass video that we were uh, working on. Superhero right. edition. We could do all the <laughs> I will give you a list of, of heroes and art so that... You... <laughs> Actual Smasher Pass. Or, or at least, you know, uh, allude to it. Uh, <laughs> speaking of which, have you blocked Richard's number, your ex? Probably, yeah. <laughs> okay. I still can't believe that you said smash to cruise, Ritter. I do not think that is very... Uh... Yeah, you like the bad boys, though. I understand. You know, smashable is a broad term. We... we... I guess we didn't go into the specifics. We wanted to keep the video like under six minutes, you know, make yeah, it digestible. I, I was very confused. I thought that you were saying people we can smash. And so I was saying yes to everybody. Just blinks and pats him on the head. <laughs> you could smash whatever you want. No, guy. no, you, you, you cannot smash whatever you want. Oh, no, I can smash whatever I want. True, but I prefer you didn't <laughs> smash whatever you want. Okay, Marco, if you say so. Thank you, boy. But I get uh, I get a treat, right, for not smash? I pass, I get yeah. treat? Yes, when we get home, you can have to. Then I will pass everything. <laughs> what do we spend all this money on? This is a... Didn't expect to get this rich off of that. <laughs> we could upgrade our gear? We could, we could buy better cameras? I want that drone thing! That's I could be your just... drone too. I can fly and hold the camera and. True, yeah, but we I... also need you to psychic blast things. Uh, oh, well. we yeah. could put an extension on the secret warehouse. We could get a whole nother cargo crate. Really, you know, expand what? what we've got going on. Pronto is taking them walking back towards the lair, but like via the like the harbor side route. Well, just you're uh. I don't necessarily know if you'd need to take... Would you need to take the subway from here? You could well, take we, the subway from here. We, we discussed it to. would be in like a like a docking kind of area where people like usually mm -hmm. like have their offices either as warehouses or use shipping containers. Mm -hmm. All right, so Just you're taking an eye out. Watching through the sky. Does anybody have anything else that they want to discuss or do we want to leave our heroes just figuring out what they want to do at this meeting and how they're going to spend their newfound wealth? Jen. Question. I can lift a ton, one ton in telekinesis, which is mm -hmm. 2,000 something pounds. pounds. Can I just like Uber lift everyone to our destination? Uh, yeah, I'm going to say yes, because that's cool. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like magic carpet ride without the carpet. So. All right. So you just <laughs> fly across the sky, discuss, you know, talking with yourselves with the wind rustling past you, just lifted by the telekinesis. Buria actually holds out their arms, closes their eyes, and lets the wind blow against their fur as they take this very, like, like, T-posing flying position as they've never been in the air this high, <laughs> going this fast, being this small. Normally they're this huge thing that just uses the power of winter to throw them around, and it's kind of wonderful to just glide along in the air. 
Pronto's just like staring at Buria. It's like completely entranced with her like seeing something like experience a dream. You know like when you watch a pet dream? <laughs> <laughs> when they're running in their sleep and stuff? Yeah. <laughs> their leg is kicking, yeah. Okay. The, the same gaze. <laughs> you, uh... Meanwhile, at a high-end penthouse in the city, a on a balcony where people have been watching with a telescope, just looking out over the entire battle from afar, trying to figure out if they could predict what, what may have caused it. Um, <clears throat> Richard, who goes by Heretic, oh. partying with all the rich kids, fluxes X. Oh, oh that's right. <laughs> Uh, walks around the room and people are excitedly taking a chunk of some sort of weird crystalline almost organic oh no substance took a around a couple of words pass between people they all nod they get out the coffee grinder yep <laughs> yep oh my gosh it is the boys they set a couple of lines down on a mirror, and we will be back next week with more <laughs> absolute power. Don't uh, thank you. Oh, actually, we're going to be off next week for absolute oh. power, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Next week, we're taking a week off. We're going to do something else. But then after that, more absolute power. Thanks, everyone, Yay. for joining us. Have a fantastic night. Matt, get us out of here. <laughs>